Hey everybody, today I'm going to make some new wheel chocks. I'm getting kind of tired of these ones that go underneath the tire. They especially don't work well when you have to use levelers. So I'm going to make a homemade, the kind that go in between the two tires and they squeeze the two pieces together to lock the tires in place. I've already designed how I want it to be. I just got to cut four sections of wood and then fasten them together with those threaded rods. I've got my two chalk pieces cut. Now I'm going to drill a hole through the middle of each one to put the threaded rod through. I just unconventionally yet effectively deburred all the edges so it's smooth to touch. I did it with this angle grinder. It's kind of rough but it's really fast. Man that thing really softens the edges up. Okay so here's one of them. I actually got the other one done too. So the idea is that you want this one of these blocks held in place like tight because that one's stationary but this is the one that moves so you tighten this up on the wheel I'll show you that next cool it fits really nicely um, you just need to size that rod length so that it can slide in there comfortably and then um, so it's not so long now to tighten it up I just gotta tighten that nut down and it'll lock it up so these worked out really great because they were cheaper than to buy these you can buy the metal ones online for I can't remember but they're kind of expensive and all this consisted of was a rod some nuts washers and a 4x4 board and it only took like I don't know, two hours to make or something. I didn't really have a good setup, so it would have been faster if you have a shop or something. So what I didn't show on the video is a lot of the, like how long to cut the wood boards, you gotta do some measuring and figuring out uh, to see what, like how long you should cut the 4x4s. I figured all that out like on paper Actually, I used AutoCAD, but you can just use like a, you know, you can do it with a measuring tape, ruler, just kind of eye it. Mine, the longest part of that top, part of the 4x4 was like 11 and a half inches, and I cut it at a 30 degree angle. And I'll show you the piece of paper. So what I didn't show in this video is like the design for how long these blocks should be. And for me, it worked out to be about 11 and a half inches on this top part, and then 60 degrees right here. That worked out really good. But depending on the length of between your tires, it'll be different, obviously. There you go. What are you looking at? What are you looking at over there? What are you thinking about? What's Regal thinking about? 